Normanhurst Station opened on 21st November 1895, and for the most part has an unremarkable history. It received an easy access upgrade in 2023 which gave it two lifts, amongst other improvements, but the interesting part of the story lies in the first five years of its existence, and around name changes. A station had opened in this area in September 1886, our modern day Hornsby, and it was in fact called this. With the opening of what would become Normanhurst on the horizon, however, Hornsby became Hornsby Junction in 1894, referring to it being the junction for the North Shore line that had opened four years earlier. Normanhurst, meanwhile, opened as Hornsby. This owed to it being in what was then the more densely populated part of the area. Though this name change was intended to alleviate confusion, it, somewhat predictably, failed to do so. As a result, and the demands of the local postmaster, Normanhurst was given its current name, and Hornsby Junction reverted back to simply Hornsby in 1900, and that is how it is today. The name Normanhurst is after Mr Norman Self, a prominent civil engineer of the time whose work included much of modern day Sydney. He had also recommended the construction of a city railway loop, an elevated circular quay railway station and a bridge over Sydney Harbour, even going so far as to win a worldwide design competition for one. All of these proposals would of course happen, albeit following his death in 1911, with the Harbour Bridge using an arch design instead. Self also designed Sydney's first and the world's second double-ended ferry, the SS Wallaby, which can be seen as an ancestor to the freshwater class. 
Norman was apparently displeased with the name Normanhurst, the Hurst part being an old English word for a wooded hill, for he preferred Saint Normans, which he considered more eloquent and suggestive. While several of his proposals were realised after his lifetime, this has yet to become one of them. Hornsby, meanwhile, is after Constable Samuel Henry Horn, who, along with Constable John Thorne, captured two bushrangers here in June 1830, and was rewarded with land on which Hornsby and Normanhurst now stand. John Thorne was similarly rewarded, and is the namesake of Thornley. Now, let's get back to the trains. Yeah. 